and hello ladies and gentlemen my name is uh, Marco Gornali 747 flight sim home co co cockpit so what I would like to do today is making a series of short videos five to eight minutes or so each and each addressing a particular area of the simulator I want to start with let me look at this thing in focus so I want to start with showing you the various components so right now we are outside what you're looking at right now is the 180 degrees curved screen which gives you a good peripheral view of the, the, the projection so now as you can see up here of course I only use two projectors. The projector that uses the Toma 1080p um, high definition, of course. And uh, I, a lot of uh, fellow simmers, they use uh, uh, three projection projectors to to achieve a 180. But as you can see, if you position them properly, uh, they each do half of the screen and it's two projectors are enough as you can see to do a complete 180 with no problem at all of course they have to be short throw otherwise it won't work and uh, i mean i i love my setup you know it's uh, beautiful graphics and everything and uh, so that's as far as the projectors go okay um so the computer itself the computer itself of course now keep in mind I own a computer store so uh, that is not an issue for me I can build myself anything I want but uh, bottom line is I, 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 I really uh, did not want to go the route of uh, several computers network together <clears throat> and I see a lot of folks do that uh, I've seen up to six eight computers low medium grade computers hooked up together in the network of course I could have done it very easily but uh, I opted to go with uh, a one really powerful computer now keep in mind I mean uh, uh, flight simulator 2004 FS9 or even FSX really did not need a super powerful computer uh, I mean they were created 10 years plus years ago 10 plus years ago so uh, you know a dual core or even a single core worked at the time I remember running it on next to nothing as far as computer was concerned I mean two gigabytes of RAM and you were good to go uh, however the add-ons and everything else and of course projecting it onto a large area such as this uh, you know 3900 something uh, uh, size wise uh, pixels wise um, you know you're, you're still gonna need uh, decent video cards and you know quite a bit of RAM and so you know again you know money being no object when it comes to computers of course um, you know I built myself a 2600k i7 is what I use K because you can overclock it very easily and it's uh, it's really a workhorse I mean I built this computer about I say about three years ago not a problem it's running overclock stock was 3.2 or 3.4 I'm running at a 4.3 with the yes a water cooler of course as you can see but i never had a single issue run smooth like you won't even believe it now the video cards are uh 7900 uh 7970 i got two 7970s coupled together one is exclusive the top one does exclusively the the uh, outside view so it has a uh, two connectors as you can see for the projectors and doesn't do nothing else the other video card takes care of all the gauges and everything else in the, in the cockpit so that's as far as the computer is concerned of course you want to you want to make sure you have quality components uh, my um, uh, power supply 1000 of course it's not necessary but it's okay why not the uh, hard drives are two solid states one is for the um, um, Windows only and the other one handles the simulator and uh, all the add-ons um, So RAM I got 32 gigabytes DDR3 uh, 16 gigabytes was plenty, but again when it comes to computer parts 
my prices are very decent so why not um, and that's as far as the computer is concerned so again I'm gonna keep these videos nice and short if you have any questions just shoot them down below and I will address them as uh, as they come and do the best I can okay my uh, motherboard is an MSI um, and uh, I believe it's a Z70 uh, Z70 uh, chipset um, anyways I'm really happy with my setup I've uh, I wanted to upgrade it several times I just cannot justify spending three thousand uh, dollars and performance wise I'm gonna make really much of a difference so there you go so that's my computer right there okay open case of course case is just as cosmetic anyways now I want to show you as far as speakers I'm using a, a, an old creative labs believe it or not 4.1 yeah, I picked it up at a pawn shop works really really good this is when they used to make uh, speakers for computers really nice nowadays I mean uh, it's a totally different story but uh, it's a 4.1 it has a as you can see down there it has a, a base cabinet but the thing which is the most important and believe me this is a must for any serious simulator a, 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 a butt, butt kicker device as you can see right there at the bottom this thing adds so much I mean you can feel your chair vibrating under your butt uh, when uh, you you are taking off on a runway or landing when you're pulling your gears up your landing gear up you can feel naturally not only here but also feel the thump under your seat and it's just gorgeous it just it gives you that extra feel of uh, um, uh, reality it's uh, it's really really a must I picked it up for $150 on, uh, on eBay and it works like a charm so that's as far as the computer setup is concerned so again ask questions and I'm gonna end this video right here for now thank you very much for watching see you soon